All right, early morning vaping. Uh, let's have a bit of fun with the immortalizer. So um, this is at one ohm. So let me just, oh, it's at 1.1 actually, there you go, 1.1. Not sure if you can see it, but yeah, it's at 1.1 ohm. We're gonna be firing it at 3.7 volts to get uh, roughly about 12.5 watts of vaping. Uh, we're using mesh on a um, stock ceramic uh, plate. It's uh, mesh with a bit of cotton coiled around the middle. Uh, I've been playing around with that kind of build lately, and it seems to be getting me fairly decent results. Now, we're, well, we're, we've got a couple other mods here. Uh, we got a GGTS, and we have the uh, Brass Aluminum Sue. We're going to have a bit of fun with it and uh, see how the Emo performs on a Provary, on the GG, and on the, uh, the BA Sue. Uh, we're going to be using the same battery. It's just been fully charged, so we can get a fair approximate of how, each, um, of how the Emo performs on each of these. Now, the Sue is known to hit hard. The GG is known for its... Um, significant voltage drop. Now since we're using variable, let's go ahead and uh, get things rolling. Burned. Just a sec. Alright. Okay, so the camera's gonna cut away for a bit because I'm doing this uh, one-handed selfie. So um, we're gonna go ahead and screw off the uh, the immortalizer, put it on the uh, the Sue, and kick the battery back in. Okay, uh, I'll try to get the camera on it for a bit. So just give me a sec. All right, here, just to ensure transparency and make sure nobody says that I'm just uh, a fanboy. And as uh, as Chief Pat puts it, there are no fanboys, just friends. So. Go ahead and work on this. There you go. Same battery. Oh yeah, uh, it's the C battery that I'm using, so I can show you for uh, for each installment. Uh, we're going to be getting rid of this one right here. All right. Now on the B A Sue. BA Sue, number Alright, so there, there you go on the BA Sue. Now let's give it a shot on the uh, the GGTS. Not gonna bother flushing it all the way down. Fixing the 510 connector is a bit of a pain in the ass, so bear with me. Again, it's the uh, the C battery that we're going to be using. There you go. And just to make doubly sure that I don't get that nasty burnt taste since I am using some cotton, let's go ahead and drip. All right. There you go. Huge thanks to Sir Lloyd of uh, Chief Vapors Makati, by the way, for uh, the awesome GG. Thanks, buddy.
Well, there you go. Um, that's basically how the EMO performs on a 1.1 ohm build. On a fully charged battery on these three mods, it's a Provary firing at 3.7 volts, so roughly about 12.5 watts of uh, vaping. And on two full mechs, one of them known for its significant voltage drop. Now, um, I'm sure that the vapor production that you saw was not uh, as massive as um, other vapor production videos, but um, it gives you a rough idea of how the Emo may not be designed strictly for vapor production, but you get that awesome flavor, and it doesn't fall that far behind uh, from from other atomizers. And considering that this is an all-stock Emo, I don't know if this crappy camera can capture it, but um, the, uh, the sleeves are stock. There you go. No modifications made. There is no gap. Uh, I flushed it all the way down for um, for the interior sleeve and the aluminum sleeve on the uh, on the outside. And uh, I, I wasn't able to show you because the the uh, the build sort sort of covers it up. But uh, what I'm using is the uh, the stock ceramic plate with the uh, with the two air holes. Uh, I'm not using one of those Cyclops ones because, uh, well, frankly, I haven't had time to buy one. Uh, but um, there you go. Really kick-ass stuff from Chief Vapors. Um, yep. I'm not letting this baby go. Yeah, catch you guys all soon. Cheers.